Well, I looked after my sister before she passed away. She's had heart problems for about 20 years. She had a triple bypass. And um, I get to know the signs. You know, the documentation says that, you know, if you've got pains in the chest or pains up your left arm or nauseous, yes, they are signs and symptoms of a heart attack, but there's other things that's, that you need to be mindful of. We used to go to her house and she'd be vomiting or sweaty or um, tired, you know, lethargic. And another person come in with a pain in the finger um, and they were having a heart attack. I don't want to sound, let people think that, you know, every little pain and ache is a heart attack, but be conscious that if it's there for a long, lengthy time, then maybe you need to get sorted out. And the best way to do that is through health checks. Do them on a regular basis. We all want to be around for our grandchildren and great grand to teach them the right ways. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I do activities. Um, I was brought up around that there, so, and I didn't want to do it, I don't like it, and I keep my kids away from it. We have programs at, at our medical service that, you know, it's not just cut off cold turkey, you can wean your way off. And... In the early days, we used to go and live off the lake and the sea, we used to Live off fish, oysters and bimblers. Our, our traditional way is eating from the land on a fire, not on a stove in a fry pan with oil. But today we can't go food gathering because we're restricted by the fisheries. Eating westernised food has impacted our, on our health. The more raw, the more natural the food, the better for you. There's lots of things around that we can do, walk, exercise, go for a swim. Or... Well, a healthy heart to me means a healthy life. So if we can keep our heart in check, we can keep our life in check and live a bit longer. We love you, Nanny. I love you, Nanny.